to show that he has figured it out. At least the character, you know, yeah. definitely a different player he's coming up against. But that's the beauty of fighting games. That's why I love watching so many different players because same variation or same character, regardless if it's MKX, KI, the Ultra, there's always that player that has a very unique and fun playstyle to watch or just completely different in general. Yeah. Fighting games, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to give a huge shout-out to CEO as well. This, this event is... By far my second favorite, only to Evo, which is just because of this, the sheer scale. But mm -hmm. this is actually getting huge. Oh yeah, every single big. year, and the the ring is is by far my favorite thing. Obviously, the entrance music. It's mm -hmm. it's just a really cool atmosphere. Jabelli takes care of not only you know Ultra as well as Marvel, but he takes care of the anime community, the Smash community, NRS guys. Ever he tries to cater to everyone, and he does a damn good job at it. Yeah. So thank you, and of course Spooky. I mean. Where would we be without Spook? Probably not doing commentary yeah, right now. Yeah, probably not. So Rio and DR, again, this is loser's side. Winner of this will play against Sonic Fox. Yay. <laughs> what a prize. I know, yeah, that's <laughs> a tough prize, that's for sure. So Bone Shaper, Shinnok still. I think he can do well. I, I like the way that he was adapting, using the Hell Sparks to kind of space. He would even stagger him just to mm -hmm. wait for the teleport, and they mm -hmm. would start to juggle. If the low is guaranteed, that that makes sense as to why he was using it so so yeah, much. Yeah, more often. Yeah, but the the opponent blocking is going to know that as well. Yeah, that it's it's weighted in favor of the low. Nice block. Okay. And again, real staggering or just stopping his strings right in the middle. Overhead. No. Looking good. Yeah, keeps him standing. And a down one is oh, in between his restart pressure. Oh, that's not worth it. No. no, that's not worth it. He needed to get up close, and I'm not saying that, that would have been easy, but rather than yeah. sitting there throwing the fireball, I, I just don't think that was it. Oh, it Getting right past the Hell Sparks. Yeah, she is actually invincible when she's when she's off the screen. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right, here we. Oh no, he drops his combo though. Okay, Gets still it. pressuring. Big advantage. Okay. And Rio, you saw, was still ready to block. That. Yeah, he was. Totally fine with it. Yeah. Might see DR approach it a little bit differently next time, knowing that. And Rio is going in and out so well. Oh. Wait. Oh, that was it. Huge chance. And now another chance. Low. He's got to make this happen oh. big time. Low. He has another bar still. Rio is not going to get Breaker. Where is it? Overhead. Oh. What a block. Oh, no. Went for it, maybe hoping Tani was going to four dash a run, but... Yeah, that, that low special, that low scoop has huge range. And it's really good, especially with EX, you get an aerial, you get a juggle. Oh! What? Okay. A little bit of an awkward angle to jump at there. And this is similar to when he was facing MIT. He was really utilizing his downward as much as he could to correctly counter poke and get out of that pressure. Otherwise, he sat and blocked some the entire time. Oh, nice. Rio saw it, comes in, gets damage for himself. Oh, low start. Gonna get the restand. Where's he gonna go? Do you know what he steals from Tanya and Imposter? I don't know what he steals from Tanya. I haven't seen it. Because I haven't seen anyone play Imposter against her. Right. Oh! That's oh, what he no. has it done! But he drops it! That is and another, okay. Okay, okay, down two. Very well. It worked. Very well. And those trades working out, but going for way too many. 
Rio's just gonna teleport in and continue his pressure. Oh, and he uses the meter burn version, and he's all over the place with this combo. But here comes DR. Okay, restand again. The grab again. I like it. A couple it. Of times. Oh yeah. Really makes the opponent think twice. Not breakable either. Oh, he got hit by the overhead. Goes for the unblockable. This is looking really good. That was it. Wow. All right, DR. That was a very convincing game for DR. Second round, not so much, but first and third. I mean, when he won, he won very well. Yes. We'll try to anti air, not quite. Oh, That's punish. a punish. There we go. What a delay! Maybe fake the grab there? Yeah, I think that's what it was, and real bit. And this time he just grabs. Oh, okay, here, DR. Here comes DR. I see you. And. Wow. I expect Rio to adjust, though. Well, we'll see if that just means more pressure. Yeah. So far, it looks like it does. Don't give DR a chance to get going. Oh. Fighting his way out, though. Again, he's been really consistent with his counter pokes. Okay. Ended it at an unusual spot. Didn't go into fireball. Hello! Oh, what an uppercut. This is what I like to see. Wow, from low start. He went up there. Rio did not expect it. Rio has the if he meter. Hit, if he gets hit, he's going to break. Oh, can't break that. He might not get a chance he here. He might not. He didn't. Two straight games for DR. I love the adjustments that he has made for this match. Burns the meter and again gets oh, caught low. Rio thought he was going for the actual mix up. Wow, he's really made use yeah, of that. He's really starting to mix up everything he's doing, all of his specials. Yeah, he sees Rio is just not expecting that. Not looking for the unsafe option, but that means that yeah. it becomes a better option. DR has to be careful though because Rio has he had two meters. Yeah, and Rio kind of dropping some combos there. He really left a lot of damage on the board. Here he goes though, don't, another chance. Don't don't you break this. Oh my goodness. You don't like it. I don't like it. This is going to be very tough. I'm not saying it's not possible, but... Oh, yeah. especially not like that. No. So two bars lost. Had he maybe gone in, I would have been okay with it. He's, I don't like the way he's trying to trade with that. Yeah, I really just don't think that's worth it. Mm -mm. Okay, get... Rio's getting caught by quite a few lows. It seems like Rio's trying to challenge after that down one hits a lot, which is not good. No. Oh, could have completed. Plus 27. How do you feel about <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, here comes Rio. And he's just going to stay right in his face. Good decision. And he baits the wake up, but doesn't get the punish. Oh, Rio, so well timed, but he drops it again. I think he ran out of uh, stamina. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Whoa. That's a very weak start. And now he has no meter whatsoever. Rio has almost three bars. And he's being pushed towards the corner. And he has the crowd behind him. Yeah. At least Yomi. Yomi's loud. Yeah, Yomi is definitely going to be the loudest ones here. Okay, DR. Yeah, the Florida crowd is coming back. <laughs> Oh no, and that's what a what a punish. The presence of mind from Rio there. Oh nice. Rio yeah, is he gonna go for chip after this? The well, momentum okay. has completely shifted for Rio and yeah, that's DR here. That trade is gonna hurt him in the long run. It's also going to allow Rio to just jump and get in with teleport. Yeah, I think that's a, a major problem. I, 
I like the stagger, and there we go, using that again, that special that starts low. That's the first time we've seen that from Rio, yep. all game. Mm -hmm. Rio now with the pressure. Gotta respect it. DR is respecting oh. it. But now caught in the corner. Oh, he went for the down one end here. Didn't work that out. It? That's gonna that be it. it. Yeah, yep. didn't, didn't get breaker. Didn't quite have it. And that is it. Yomi Rio moves on. And that means that he will play in the next round against Sonic Fox. So again, a major comes down to Sonic Fox and Yomi. That's the top four. Yep. Yomi MIT, Yomi DJT, that's winner's finals, haven't played that yet. In losers, Sonic Fox, CR Sonic Fox versus Yomi Rio. And it was just pointed out to me, again, thank you Twitter Monsters, that it, um, Shinnok Imposter steals the low drill. The low drill, okay, okay. That is one pretty stick right there. I mean, the Vulix. I really like the Vulix myself because I like to have weight in my joystick. Yes. I, I don't want them to scoot around on my lap or on the, the table, whatever it is. When you're going ham. Nah, I mean, I, look, I come from the arcade days, and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty mean to the stick, right? I definitely shake it around a lot, so it's really helpful to me. If that's something that you care about as well, I highly recommend checking out the Vulix. Yep. All right, so we are going to be doing, of course, for you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, watching winners finals before we go down to loser semis, and that's going to be the Yomi brothers, yeah. DJT and MIT, and then of course Sonic Fox and Rio sitting in losers still have to play to see who's going to losers finals. That's right. It's always interesting to me to see the Terry brothers play against each other because yeah. you know that they play against each other so often that I, I just I don't know sort of which character they're going to end up yeah. with. Yeah. Of course, but they both play a bunch of different characters. Uh, we, we obviously see a lot of things from them being training partners and, of course, brothers that we wouldn't see them usually do in a, in a regular match with someone right. else because they know each other's tendencies so well. Right, so things that might seem crazy otherwise, they're right. willing to do because Very viable. they've seen it work. Yeah. How many times? So, Yeah, so we're going to go check out the players. Sitting up there, they're already ready to go. That's Forever King on the left and Slayer on the right, also members of Team Yoni. Yep. Yomi.